you like the van life stuff. I like the van life stuff. But you're like, hey, Kopec, how do I fund gas money? How do I make a living on the road? Well, you are in luck because today we're going through all the gear that I use to do digital nomad work on the road. It's going to be a very exciting thing. All the links to the stuff are in the description. It's going to be awesome. Let's check it out. Let's get started because we're all going to make a million dollars. We're doing a million dollar giveaway. If I get a million subscribers, we'll give out a million. No, I'm just. <laughs> first important piece of tech is that this is my desk over here but it's kind of far especially when i don't have my back pillow here i just you know i can't i don't want to sit like this all the time so very important i got the chair let's set the chair up all right we got our chair and we're all ready to go you can see it's definitely better to have a high top van because if i straighten up all the way i'll hit my head on the roof but it's fine we're working all right, so the first thing you probably notice is my laptop. This is a Surface Pro 4. I got it a few years ago. I really like it. It's super thin. Look how thin this is. The keyboard comes off and it turns into a tablet. And it's surprisingly powerful for something this thin, even the old versions. This allows me to render even up to 4K footage, which is great. Video editing always takes a lot on your GPU and processor and everything like that. I'm just baffled that this can do it even at all. So that's absolutely fantastic. That's one of the big reasons why I got it. What's awesome about the Surface line of products is that it has a lot of different cool accessories. Like this is a dock that you can just plug right in to your laptop, it's fantastic. And it gives you more USB, gives you a headphone jack. I mean, it's already got one, but it gives you another one. HDMI ports and all sorts, sorts of good things that you're gonna need if you want to run something like this next one, which is a microphone. This is a blue snowball microphone. I mean, blue is the name of the company, as you can see right there. It's not the uh, color of the microphone, as you can tell. But I've had this for a long time and it's helped me do many podcasts and many audio quality things like when you're like, oh, you have a voice for radio. Well, <laughs> I credit the microphone for that because that's super fantastic. This was maybe 50 bucks. You can get it on Amazon anywhere and they have different price tiers for different types of mics. I think their cheapest one is like 20 bucks and it's pretty decent. And then they go all the way up to uh, more expensive microphones. The Blue Yeti is a very popular microphone for podcasters. That's one of the ones that people say you can start with. It's about 90 bucks. The Surface costs probably, I think I paid 1.3 thousand for it and it's lasted me very many years. You can see I have a smiley face covering the webcam because I absolutely don't trust these computers. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook, has a covering on his webcam. So he's like the ultimate tech Illuminati dude. So if he does it, you better cover up your webcams too. The problem is also with your phone too. You can't really cover that because I use it so much, but I definitely would recommend covering your webcam and microphone too, if you have it. Now to get awesome quality audio, I've got these Sony MDR 7506s. I've had these for even longer. And I mean, they've fallen apart and I put them back together. The stickers coming off. This is probably a decade old headset, but it's still studio grade. It has the best sound. I think I only paid like 80 bucks for these. It's a really great deal. The problem with these specifically, this brand, is that the earbuds rot out because it's made of like this fake leather stuff. Eventually after a few years, you start getting little chips of it and, and it just completely eroded. But I got replacement pads for it. I think I paid 14 bucks for it, but it's like now I have brand new headsets and I love them so much. And it's got this cool coiled cord. It's very professional, very cool. It also comes with attachments so you can put it into like an amp or just a normal headphone jack, anywhere. It's more audio type of things. What is this? Copec, is that a vape? <laughs> nah, these are the coolest wireless head. Let me move over this way for you. These are the coolest wireless headsets that I've ever seen. I imported them myself and I was thinking about selling them on my website as like a uh, drop shipping type thing. These are so cool. Look, it pops out. It's just a little earbud here. It's Bluetooth. It goes with your phone, with your computer. I use it on the computer all the time. This part is a battery bank. So you put the headsets back in and they charge. It's absolutely fantastic. It looks premium quality. And for what I paid for them, they feel, it feels like, I don't know, fancier than iPods for sure. iPods? What are the, are they called iPods? The Apple earbuds? Something like that? AirPods, that's what they're called but it's awesome. It also works as a, you can open up the little flap on the side, you charge them, and then on the other side, there's a USB thing. So it also works as a battery. You can charge your phone from your headsets, and that's a cool thing. I might I might actually have to put these on the website. That's nomadiclife.org, life spelled with a Y. I'll link that too. 
I'm thinking about shutting that down. So I don't know if I don't know if I'll put these on there. But I get so many compliments about them, and and they're so unique. I've never seen anybody else wear something like this. I don't like all the other ones that uh, have been popular. I think they're either ugly or they don't have the features I want, or they're just like $300 and it's like, I don't wanna spend that much money to get brain cancer. I like these a lot. Since we're on a roll with audio stuff, this is one of my lav mics. Lavoratory, I don't know what, I forget what lav, lavalier? Lavalier is what it's called. Yeah, it just pins right here and you can wire it to anything. This is amazing. I got this for maybe 15 bucks on Amazon. It's really helped cut down on some of the windy noise when I film at the RTR or anywhere else when I'm hiking and things like that. I haven't been bringing it recently because I've been uh, forgetting it, but it's great to have. I lost a little, the dead cat that goes over it, the little air blocker thing, the windshield but it's fantastic. I'd really like to get a wireless one, but those are like 300 bucks and I can't really justify that because I don't even use this one that much. Continuing the role of audio. This is fantastic. This has changed my life. What is this? This is a Olympus digital voice recorder. So what I'll do, turn it on when I'm driving. Like I, I listen to a lot of audio books while I'm driving and I don't want to pull over to write notes or, or if I come up with an idea, I want to get it out on paper right away, but I can't always write. So I carry this around with me most of the time and I'll just be like, oh, video idea about reviewing my computer gear and then have a link to them in the description. And then so it'll just record it and then I can just play it back. Oh, video idea about reviewing my computer gear and then have a link to them. So this is fantastic. So what I'll do is maybe like once a week, I'll go through, this is backlog now, it's full. I guess I haven't been doing it in a while, but I'll go back through, transcribe all my notes to a notebook. And that keeps all of my stuff, like if I come up with a good idea, I'll have it stored so then I can go through it later and assess if it really was a good idea or I was just crazy in the moment. And that's where this comes in. This is my handy dandy notebook, bright purple. I go through about one of these a year just with all these different notes and drawings, schematics, and things like that. I planned out the van in last year's notebook or the year before that. You can see some diagrams. So I'll, I'll sit down and I'll transcribe all my notes into here. And that keeps me focused when I'm come up with business ideas or anything like that. I'll be able to write them all down and have a handy dandy reference anytime I want to think of something. I write down a lot of, well, I write down a lot of doodles and stuff there, but I write down a lot of different business ideas and video ideas and all the different strategies that I go through on social media. And you're like, well, this is all awesome gear, but what, how do I actually make the money? Well, that's another video. <laughs> I'm sorry if you clicked on that thinking that, but right now we're talking about all the different gear that you might want to have if you're trying to do computer work while you're on the road. And since it is a little bit of a different office environment, especially if you drive a lot, I definitely recommend a voice recorder or something like that. This is a really old one. I think I'd like to upgrade to one that has a USB dongle to it so I can just transfer the files to a computer and then I can store the audio as well because right now I just erase it when it's done. Although I do like the fact that I have to go back and manually write everything out because that kind of cements it in your mind. There's something special about when you actually put pen to paper. While we're talking about camera gear and things like that, this is a Joypod Gorilla Pro something or another stand. And this is like one of the famous ones, like all the YouTubers like this one because it can bend, you can attach it to things like that. And it holds up like super heavy weight. I mean, I'm, I'm, I have a pretty heavy camera, so it holds on like that. I definitely recommend something like this. This one was a little bit pricey. I think this one was like 30, 40 bucks, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, you can carry it around like this and super durable. It's not going to break. I've gone through a lot of different tripods, different things like this, and there's cheap versions there. You can get one like this for $10, but falls apart after like just a few months, like the things come off or it doesn't hold, or I've had them even where the legs fall off. And that's, that's a real bummer. You don't want to do that. In fact, the one I use to hold up my camera while I'm driving for for uh, taking pictures or looking at Google Maps has fallen apart. So I'm gonna get a smaller version of this to do that task. It's gonna be pretty good, I'm, I'm excited for it. That one's like 17 bucks. So it's definitely pricey for the size you're getting, but the quality, unmatched. What else we got? Here's your beverage. You always wanna have a beverage when you're doing work. This is Fizz & Co Seltzers. I've been trying to cut back on energy drinks and sodas and everything that's bad for you like that. Juice is also pretty bad for you. It's pure sugar. You might as well be drinking soda at this point. This tastes just like Coke. It has no sugar and no calories. It's sodium and artificial flavors, whatever that is, but it's absolutely amazing. It tastes just like Coke, but I mean, obviously you don't have the sweetness, but it tastes like an unsweetened Coke. They also make a Dr. Pepper version, which is awesome, and a root beer version, which it was okay, it wasn't like fantastic, but definitely the Coke and the Dr. Pepper are my favorite. 
is sponsored by Kroger. <laughs> nah, well, you can pick these up at Kroger. That's where I get them. I, in fact, it's a Kroger brand. All right, what else we got? This is like a, uh, a horseshoe mount for the camera. You can put little things in here. I've got a little, I mean, I guess you can't really see what it's used for when it's not in use, uh, but you just put this on top of your camera and then I put my phone here so I can record at both times, either both forward or both backwards. It gives you another scene. You can also live stream from your phone while you record 4K footage with a real camera. You got another one here for a microphone or anything like that. Now, you've got all this stuff and you can't obviously I have to pack this up every time I go to drive because this will just fly everywhere and smash into a million pieces. And what I have for that this amazing camera bag. I love it so much. Purple's my favorite color. This black with purple highlights is just so cool. I like it a lot. It's got all these little pockets. It's got a laptop container, and I also put my uh, iPad and notebooks in it. It's got all these type of features. It's got extra clips at the bottom. You can attach yourself to it and things like that. It's got this breathable, airy thing, which is more storage. It's designed for cameras. And what that means, it's got inserts like this, and they're pretty strong, they'll keep your stuff safe. So you can put your camera here, your lens here, and different parts. See, it's so durable that I even have these really lightweight plastic things inside. These are like training wheels for the drone. The propeller will go in here. This will keep it from hitting anything and destroying your propellers. And then of course I also have extra propellers for the drone in the little bags and then like all the little accessory features and things like that go in there. I love this bag a lot. This is really good. Here's a purple pen. I like purple. This bag I think was like 40, 50 bucks. Definitely worth it. It does get pretty heavy if you load it up with stuff, but that just gives you a testament of how much it can hold, how durable it is. I really like it. I mean, it's been thrown around. I've taken it on all my shoots and things like that. It's just fantastic. And you got more storage up in here. You got little nets little things like this. Oh, this is cool. I've never used this and I kind of don't want to take it out because I'll never be able to put it back in. But this is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. But what it does have built in a covering, what you would do with this is you would unravel it and wrap it around the bag and then you can still get in it and it protects all your stuff from the rain and the snow. And if it's hailing, it'll protect you from that too. Lots of cool stuff in here. Extra phone for the drone. I use this, my old phone for piloting the drone because it does use like a smartphone so you can see the camera while you're flying. That's that's just awesome. One of the coolest features. I, I remember as a kid, I had a RC hot air balloon. So it was a balloon that you would refill with helium and then you would attach little propellers to it and it would fly around. It was so amazing at the time, but now for even half the price, you can get these little drones that fit in your pocket and like fly around and take pictures and all this type of crazy stuff. So it's pretty sweet. Speaking of the drone, all right, this bag came with the drone. I actually really like it a lot. It's one of those like single shoulder bags and I carry it around when I'm doing like lighter weight work. I can take the drone out and put my camera in it, do all sorts of cool stuff. Got extra storage in here. And then of course, here's a drone controller. Here's the drone. This is amazing. Look how small this is. When my friends and family, they knew I was gonna get a drone, but they imagined like those big original white ones with the four prongs, you know? Uh, and they're like, well, where's the drone? What is it? And, and I showed them this and they're like, what? No way. It's just so small and it folds up. I think that's the coolest part is that it folds out like that. It's like the coolest. I really enjoy it. And this is, I got it for the RTR and I was like, well, it's kind of, it's going to be kind of a toy because I can't really use it for work. It's, it's going to be, I don't think it'll pay for itself. It's a big investment. I think this one was 800 bucks with the kit with extra batteries, which was super important. These batteries last 15 minutes. So you do need to get extra ones. They sell them in a bundle for, for like half price. So if you're going to invest, I say do that. I didn't do it. I got, I got two extra. It's never bad to have more. Anyway, this this drone has paid for itself more than even the camera that I got, the professional Sony a6300 camera. I figured, oh, if anybody need, if any company needs a drone footage, they're going to have one themselves. Why would they hire me? But I'll tell you what, there's been so many times where I've gotten a client just because I'm the one there with a drone. It's fantastic. I, I'm super happy with the purchase. Maybe if there's any interest, I'll do a drone review video going maybe more in depth. You can kind of get most of my opinions just from this. I, I really like it a lot. This is the Mavic Air Pro. I can't remember if it's got a Pro or not, but it's the Mavic Air. And of course, all the links to stuff will be in the description. Here's some business working gear. These are business cards I had made for the company that I never advertised. But you can go to that website and see all the cool stuff. I designed that card myself I, with the graphic design and all the things like that. I, I think it's beautiful. I think it turned out so well. And everybody really likes the logo and I, and I did that 
in just a minute. It was just supposed to be a placeholder, but everybody likes it. And then there's a few things. You've probably seen me wearing some of the shirts, like Just Breathe shirt, where it's a it's like a silhouette of lungs, but shows like a beautiful forest campground and things like that. And then The World is in Your Hands, where it's a picture of a hand with like trees growing from it. It looks really cool. I've actually had people come up to me on the street and be like, whoa, dude, I like your t-shirt. And I'm like, hey, Here's a card. How about some more gear? This is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. I got the plus, but you can tell that I've cracked my screen. I dropped it a bit. I dropped it at RTR and then I went and got it fixed and then I dropped it again. Oh, it's so painful. But I got an upgrade because my old phone was overheating and I never want to buy the most up-to-date phone because it's kind of a waste of money and it just goes obsolete. It's like buying a, buying a brand new sports car. It depreciates in value. The second you drive it off the lot, you've just lost 50 grand. I liked this a lot. I bought it off Amazon and it took me a bunch of tries to get the right one. They kept sending me a European one and that doesn't work with the CDMA. I think it's called antennas that I use for Verizon. But speaking of Verizon, one of the best things about Verizon is that I use it for Wi-Fi in the van. I just turned my phone into a hotspot and you can get a little dongle thing that allows you to stream Wi-Fi from it. That's super important. You're gonna need Wi-Fi. If you wanna do online work while you're van lifing, you, you need the Wi-Fi. And unfortunately, that's been a problem because it's kind of limited the spaces where I can park because I'd love to go into the middle of the mountain somewhere, but if there's no signal, I can't get any work done. I can do maybe a little bit and I can sit down and meditate and read, but then I gotta come back to town, gotta come back to where the normal people live to do my work. There's also the idea that you can go to some place like Panera or Starbucks, get a coffee, and then just work there all afternoon. If it's too hot outside and I don't wanna be in the van or it's like my only option to have an office that day is in the parking lot of a Walmart, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna sit in a Walmart parking lot all day. So I'll go to Panera, I'll get one cup of coffee for a dollar, infinite refills, maybe get like a pay Pastry, and then I'll just do my work there all day and then you can also talk to people you can you can meet new people and socialize and that's your quota for socializing of the day I know that's kind of why the whole RTR was started the rubber Trent rendezvous was because it was inspired by the mountain men who would go off and live nomadic lives up in the mountains all year but then you know you still get that earth we're still social creatures so you have to talk to people so I kind of do some of that when I'm out of Panera's or when I'm doing the mobile office for the day now we're gonna flip the script. And by that, I mean turn the camera around to see what's been filming us this whole video. This is my lovely Sony A6300 camera. It's an absolutely beautiful specimen of a camera. I love it so much. We've got the Rode Micro Mini, whatever you wanna call it, with the Dead Cat microphone on it. It's absolutely stunning. There's a couple reasons why I decided to invest in a more professional camera. One, I wanted to do some cool 4K footage, and that was before I upgraded my phone to be able to do 4K as well. The other thing is, I get a lot of different clients where I'm a professional photographer, so to speak. You can't just show up with your phone. I mean, even though the phones are absolutely amazing to taking video, you can't always you can't just like pull out your phone at a commercial shoot. I mean, you'll get weird looks and stuff, and they'll be like, "Oh, I thought we hired a professional, not you know some dude working on his phone." Here's the ball joint mount that came from this thing I, I got them together but I use it on the tripod that I got and this tripod is great I love it I love a lot of this stuff that's why I have it I guess <laughs> this tripod was only like shoot it was like 20 to 50 bucks I can't remember we'll have a link to it in the thing locks on it it goes up pretty high I think it goes up to like eight feet seven feet something like that it extends here you've got little these little water things that tell you if it's level or not and then of course I've got one up here as well which is great. What's so cool about this is it's like a three in one. I don't remember what all three are, but this allows you to take it out of a tripod. Let's see if I can do this one handed and it turns into a staff. And then what you do is you can unscrew this and it goes out to be another seven feet. And this is called a monopod. There's a lot of reasons why you might not want a full tripod, like if you're gonna be mobile, but you still wanna rest your computer on something and get good shots. And with this handle, you can do some awesome special, like in camera effects, like just move it in and out. I love it. I use the monopod probably as much as I use the actual tripod part. My main complaint about the Sony, well, I guess there's two. One is that the battery goes pretty quickly. So I have four different ones that I'll have to rotate in and out. And you can't keep filming while you replace a battery unless you get some attachments. You can get like a cage for this and put all the attachments on it you want. This one goes where that microphone is and then you can have a bunch more other gadgets and things like that. My other complaint is that this camera is not for vlogging because you can't have this flip screen. You have to go back and test and see if your camera angle is good because this thing doesn't pop out 
a lot of the other Sonys have one that flips up, which is perfect, or flips out even better, or there's even some weird ones that flip under, so you can see under, but that doesn't really work that well with this tripod mount, so I wouldn't like that one either. I wish this one flipped out to the side. I wish there was some type of modification I could do to it, or another version with it, but Sony has not said any intentions that they have of making one with a flip screen, which is very unfortunate. Uh, another thing that some people might complain about is that this is not a touch screen. I don't really mind. I don't mind going through the button menu, but some people are like, oh, it's 2016. We need touch screen on our cameras. I don't really care about that, but some people might. Now, we've got all this awesome gear, but how are we going to power it? Well, you can see my dock goes all the way into the mess down here, the mess of wires into this inverter. This is a pure sine wave inverter that I got off of Amazon. I'll link to that in the description. You can also see the videos where I talk about how to install that and how to set up solar. And originally I was gonna mount this. This is the control panel that came with the MPPT solar charge controller and allows you to see how much solar you're getting in. It's kind of overcast today. Your battery, your battery capacity and how full it is, what the volts are, the amperage, and then if it's going on or not. And I was originally gonna mount it somewhere, but it's been so useful to like pull up and like look at while I'm I mean, I can set it up here on my desk when I want, and I can monitor real time my electrical uses. So I can see if I'm like, oh man, I gotta hurry this video because there's no sun out today and I don't wanna drain all my batteries. It's just absolutely fantastic. And you can see we run the lights and we run the fan. It's great, I like it a lot. And there's even this button here, you can see, you can shut off all of your emergency power and one button, pretty neat, and then it comes back on. What's cool about all the gear that I've shown today is that it doesn't take a lot of power. The fridge in the van is what takes the most power, and that'll drain the battery pretty quickly. But the computer, you can get many, many charges, full charges throughout the day without even having to worry about your battery bank drying up. Now I've got one more specialty piece of gear that's gonna be perfect for van life. This little tip is gonna make all the video work that if you watch this far, you're gonna be glad you did because this is something you definitely need. This is a AC outlet inverter that you plug into the van. It just goes into the lighter thing. You can turn it on and off. Two different types of USB connectors here and two regular 12 volt plugs. I mean, it saved my life so much. I mean, not literally my life, but I've used it so frequently. I think this was a hand-me-down gift from my dad. He has a bunch of them in his car, and it's been just absolutely fantastic. I use this to charge the drone when I'm going in between two shoots, and I don't want to come back and unpack it and plug it into the inverter down here. I can just plug it right while I'm driving. I mean, obviously you want to be safe and don't do all that, but you know, at a red light, I can switch out the batteries and charge the other one. And then by the time I'm at the next photo shoot, perfect. So I definitely recommend these. I don't know if I can find this one on Amazon to link you, but I'll find one that is comparable. All right, you guys, I hope that was helpful. If I can think of anything else that I use while I'm working, I'll let you know. All the links for the stuff are in the description. If you have any questions about like the computer, if I like the microphone or not, things like that, feel free to let me know. And I would be really interested to see what you use for your mobile office setup, what you can do, and then let me know what you do for a living while you're doing that. One of the next videos is how to actually use all this gear to make some money, and that's gonna be the million dollar video because we're all gonna make a million dollars. We're doing a million dollar giveaway. If I get a million subscribers, we'll give out a million. No, I'm just, <laughs> obviously I'm joking. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.